Hi guys, my name is Marissa and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a behind the scenes version of what it looks like when you film a YouTube video. I think that sometimes people have this perception that everything is smooth sailing and that people that post online have these perfect, well put together lives and everything goes smoothly all the time. I couldn't be further from the truth. You can see even when I'm filming this intro, there's kids screaming in the background. I made a commitment when I started posting on YouTube that I would post a video every single day for the first two months that I had a channel. Today marks the two month mark and when I started this journey, we were not in the middle of a pandemic. Everybody was in school, everybody was working, life was normal. A lot has changed in that period of time and I wanted to celebrate the fact that I stuck with my goal by just sharing something that's fun and lighthearted. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Marissa. I'm also known as Homemaking with Marissa here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. And if you haven't done so already and would like to stick around, hit the red subscribe button. When I started this channel, I waited 10 years to start a YouTube channel. I literally thought about it for 10 years before I posted my first video. And I felt like the timing was finally right. <laughs> was finally right. I had one child that was at home. My husband works a lot and I work part-time. I was thinking it would be a perfect time. I needed a hobby. I needed something to do in my spare time. I had no idea, clearly, as nobody did, that there was going to be a pandemic and everybody was going to be home. Getting through one video without a dog barking or somebody watering the yard. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you 10 of my favorite beauty products. Next, I'm going I had 10. Well, I only have 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh yeah. As well, as well as the, and sometimes occasion, and occasionally I will post. My beauty routine has changed pretty drastically in my 30s than what it was when I was in my 20s. My hair. Ugh. I am the only person in my family that's not a hairdresser and boy do I wish I had that skill right now. My husband and my son's hair at this point, I think I have problems. Their hair is crazy. I have thought that at some point I'm going to have to FaceTime with one of my siblings or my sister-in-law, literally when I say I'm the only one that didn't go to beauty school, between all of our siblings, my husband's siblings, and my siblings, I am the only person that didn't go to beauty school. I'm gonna have to FaceTime with either one of my siblings or my husband's sister and have them talk me through how to cut my husband's hair and my kid's hair. Okay, beauty tips in your 30s. What is it called? Your makeup counters? Department store foundations. The primer that was my favorite was a Cover FX. Ugh. I wonder if that's too loud. not we. My husband is, 
extending our patio. I'm an introvert. So staying home and not hanging out with a bunch of people, not an issue for me. I could keep going at this rate for a while. Now, I am working part-time from home with my kids and assisting them in their academic journey, which I will continue doing, but that is not an area where I'm... What was it? I think it was Tiffany Beeston. I heard her say, she's surviving, but she's not thriving. Amen, sister. I am doing the best that I can and making the best of this situation. And fortunately, I'm an introvert. So I don't need to be out hanging out with a bunch of people. My husband, not the case. Very much an extrovert. Love language, quality time. He is having a harder time than I am with not being able to have get togethers and hang out with people. Fortunately, as a central service job, so he's still going to work, it does get to see people outside of his family. He has decided that he's going to tear up part of our backyard and extend our patio. So he's been just digging up grass, moving dirt around. I don't know what he'd be doing if he wasn't digging up the backyard. He'd be going nuts. and will replace when I run out of it. Under eye is this Estee Lauder advanced, advanced repair, what is this called? Estee Lauder, it does last for several days though. See, now we got this something going on in the backyard and the dog barking. I noticed that my nail polish doesn't chip as quickly when I use this specific brand. It's not heavy, it doesn't leave my hair feeling crunchy, and I... I don't wash my hair every day, so... This is my go-to hairspray. I have lived in my house for eight years. Neither neighbor on either, my neighbors on either side, none of my neighbors had dogs. Until about six months ago when the neighbor passed away, sold the house, her family, neighbor passed away, family sold the house, people that moved in next door, three dogs. And my dog is a jerk and barks. And their dogs also jerks, also bark. It just becomes this barking battle back and forth. And anytime my dog's outside, either my dog's going nuts or their dog's going nuts. I don't really know how to resolve this problem. Okay. Next is a dry shampoo. This is a Batiste brand. You can pick it up. If that you guys enjoyed today's video and I want to thank all of you that have subscribed to my channel in the last two months. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button. Isn't it appropriate that there's so much noise in the background for this voiceover? You can go ahead and hit the red subscribe button as well as turning on bell notifications so that you don't miss when I upload.
And if you would like to watch additional videos that I have filmed, you can go ahead and click on the video image on the left side of your screen. Subscribing to my channel can be done by clicking on my face on the right side of my screen. I hope that all of you are staying happy and healthy. Bye!